What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mic Check Podcast. This is T Word, the People's Champ. Thank you for tapping in. You are now entering the booth. And today we're going to talk about some NFL football and give my reaction to the NFL championship games, which took place on Sunday. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Go and spread the word that the baddest podcast coming around is in your area all over the internet. We do appreciate the growth and support that we've seen recently, and we hope that you continue to rock with us because we, we rock with y'all. So without further delay, let's get into it. First game of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles hosted the San Francisco 49ers, and much like I predicted, the Eagles were too dominant, too much, too strong to lose to the Niners, and it played out that way on the football field. Early in the game, it was close. It was 7-7 at one point. And then the Eagles just put pedal to the metal. They had some great catches by the receivers, great play by their quarterback, as well as really good, strong commitment to the running game. And it paid dividends getting them into the end zone several times via the running backs, Boston Scott and Miles Sanders. Now, here's the ticker. Brock Purdy did leave the game for the Niners, but I don't think it impacted the outcome because it didn't seem like there was anything the Niners could do to get going offensively, to get over the overwhelming pressure and good tackling of the Eagles defense. What I thought was a critical thing was Christian McCaffrey was getting off, but it seems like the Eagles decided we're going to give McCaffrey the ability to do whatever he wants to do, but we're going to shut down everything else. Debo Samuels was bottled up. Uh, George Kittle had an OK game, but he did not get to the statistics that I mentioned that he typically does. Six catches, 100 yards in the TD. It just wasn't there for him. Um, McCaffrey was the lone bright light on that team. And it just it wasn't enough to overcome an Eagles team that just seems to be too big, too fast, too physical. Um, they were one step ahead in the play calling. Everything that they did seemed to work and they were just methodical throughout the drives and throughout the game. Now, something that was really important was. I mentioned that there would be 28 points scored in the first half, except I thought it would be 14-14. Turns out it was 21-7 in favor of the Eagles, and it never got closer. The second half, they just controlled the clock, controlled the game, and were able to put it away and win 31-7 and punch their third ticket to the Super Bowl with their third quarterback. So interesting to see how that's going to play out. Second game of the day, we had the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Cincinnati Bengals, and this game wasn't the shootout I expected. I predicted 34-31. The game ended 23-20. And what I did notice was that both teams were just back and forth. Neither one to back down. I thought we had two very skilled teams, two well-coached teams, and two deep teams. So when they had players in and out of the game and one team would make a big play, then another make a big play, it was just back and forth. Made for a really exciting evening of football. And something that I kind of predicted was it would come down to the last drive, and it did. The last Chiefs drive ended in three points, which was enough to make the difference on the scoreboard and seal their trip to the Super Bowl. I believe this is Patrick Mahomes' third trip. This is like his fifth NFC AFC championship game. That is freaking crazy. This dude does everything really well with football. He didn't play like he was hurt. He just came out there and played his butt off, and the Chiefs were just a better team. No reason for the Bengals to hang their hats or hang their heads because they gave everything that they had. Um there were a couple things that went on with the refs or whatever that a lot of people are going to point to as a reason that the Bengals lost. And that wasn't it. I don't want to hear shit about bad refereeing, especially with the way my team gets done. Um, but I don't think it impacted the outcome because anytime you could say the officials impacted the game, you could probably look at s several different moments throughout the game that your team could have done better. And they just didn't. And in my opinion, that's what happened in this particular game. There were some moments that both teams could have capitalized on. It's just the Chiefs capitalized on the one moment that they needed. They had a few turnovers. They had a lot of sacks on Burrow. They're going to have to get that kid a better offensive line by hook or by crook. Something's got to give. But that being said, the Chiefs used those few things that worked in their favor to go ahead and come out with the victory. And um, they're off to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to be breaking that down over the next two weeks. That game is going to be February 12th. Um, at 5.30. So going to be interesting to see how this game plays out. Very, I'm looking forward to two, to seeing two explosive offenses and two good defenses. Now, I think that the Eagles have the defensive advantage, but I think that the Chiefs have the offensive advantage. And we're going to break those down in separate videos. We're going to do how did they get here and talk about their season as a whole. And then we're going to talk about um, the individual advantages and disadvantages of each team before we break down the head-to-head -head in another video. So expect those to be released slowly over the next couple of weeks. Um, don't want to overwhelm you with too much at one time. And hopefully we can get this conversation going and react to these games, right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and exit the booth. This has been the Mic Check Podcast. I am T-Word. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time I'm out, peace.